Hey, what's up Chemical Guys family and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to remove bug guts from your front end using our Bug and Tar Remover Wash. So it's officially summer which means I know a lot of you guys out there are going on road trips and your vehicle are being hit with all kinds of bug guts and foreign contaminants on your vehicle. So today we're going to be showing you guys how to clean that on this Ram 3500. Now believe it or not this truck actually drove all the way from Texas here to LA, here to the Chemical Guys headquarters for this detail. So we're gonna go ahead and hook it up with some love, not only from cleaning all the bug guts from the front end, but doing the entire truck. So we're gonna be doing a full on series every single Friday. So make sure not to just watch this video, but come back next Friday and the Friday after that, where we're gonna show you guys how to deep clean and restore this work truck to brand new. All right guys, so the first thing that we have to do is set up our bug and tar remover wash. Now this right here is specifically to tackle bug guts and acids sitting on the front end of your vehicle, whether it's on the front end, the mirrors, the glass, wherever it may be, this is gonna work out phenomenal on all smooth, glossy exterior surfaces. But before we use it, we have to go ahead and dilute it. So we have a secondary spray bottle right here. Now the right way to use our bug and tar remover wash can actually be there's actually not just one right way. There's actually a couple different ways actually. So you can either A, dilute it into a separate sprayer bottle to a six to one ratio. You can either also uh, pour some into your bucket and you can also add it to your foam cannon for a more intense wash. But in this case, we're gonna be using it in the sprayer form and in our bucket. So we're gonna dilute it into our secondary sprayer bottle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour our bug and tar remover wash directly up until the line where it hits the six to one ratio. And then once you get to the, about that line, go ahead and close your bottle. And now all you have to do is simply fill up the rest with some water. So now that we've filled it up with water, all we have to do now is put our spray nozzle back on there. Go ahead and stir that up. Don't want to shake it because you don't want it to foam inside the bottle itself. So just stir it around just so that the solution mixes in with the water and you're all set to go. So you can set that down. And then just for some added cleaning power, since this bug is very, very bad right here, we're also gonna add an ounce to our wash bucket here. And that's equivalent to about one good squirt. And then the tools that we're gonna be using today is actually, we have two different ones. So we have our boar's hair detailing brush. This is what I'm gonna use to get into the nooks and crannies. And then we also have our dual sided wash mitt right here, which comes with the chenille wash mitt side. And you also have this mesh side right here, which is gonna work out perfectly for agitating those more stuck on bug guts sitting on the surface of your vehicle. And the great thing about this is that it also has a strap right here. So you can go ahead and slide your hand right into there for more control. And you can just go ahead and safely wipe it down without it falling off your hand. So we're gonna go ahead and let that pre-soak into our bucket. And then we're gonna activate our suds with our pressure washer. And now that that's activated, now we're gonna go ahead and start off with pre-rinsing the surface to knock off as much of that bug guts from the surface. Alright, so now that we're done pre-rinsing it, all we have to do now is spray our bug and tar remover solution onto the surface. Now, you want to go ahead and spray this very nicely. Spray it all over the affected area. So in this case, we're spraying it basically all on the front grill here, as well as the lower bumper. And as you guys can see, there's still a ton of bug guts still on there, but this cleaner is going to do an incredible job at loosening a lot of this stuff up, breaking it down. And then in this case, since it's so severe, we're actually going to pre uh, pressure wash it once again that way we knock off more uh, bug guts on there. That way, whenever we go into our initial scrubbing, we have less of a chance of inflicting damage like scratches and swirls from scrubbing it down. So as you guys saw, after we sprayed on the coat of our bug and tire remover wash, then we pressure washed it, a lot more stuff came off. However, it's still not perfect. There's still a bunch of bug guts still embedded on there and that's the more heavy duty stuff that we need to clean. And that's why we have to go in with the contact wash. So that's why we're gonna use our bug and tar 
remover mitt here. Now we're gonna simply start agitating the surface of the grill. And this is gonna ensure that we knock off all the more stuck on bug guts. As you can imagine, this vehicle, it did drive all the way from Texas here to LA. However, what I forgot to mention was that even after the owner brought it here to LA, he actually drove it around for a couple more weeks and hasn't washed it since. So a lot of this stuff has actually been just baked on there for those coming weeks. So it's really, really stuck on there. So that's why we need to go with something like this to ensure that we knock off of the more embedded things sitting on the surface. Now, whenever it comes to these more textured and hard to reach areas, that's when you can actually flip this strap. So if I show you guys right here, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. And I can actually put my hand on the opposite side and use the chenille noodle side as well. So we're gonna go ahead and grab some suds and get nice and deep in there with the chenille microfiber noodles just to really ensure that we get deep into those nooks and crannies and get all the bug guts caught within. And if we have to, I do have my brush as well. I did say we were gonna use it, but in this case, I think the noodles are gonna be perfectly fine. I might actually need to use it for the logo here just only, so we'll figure that out when we get there. But right now, I'm just worrying about these more intricate areas that the chenille microfiber noodles can actually clean up. Now, whenever you do a certain section, always come back to your bucket. In this case, we actually have a dirt trap sitting at the bottom of our bucket. So all we're gonna do is scrub the face of the chenille noodles against that dirt trap. And that's gonna knock off any kind of bug guts that gets lodged onto the noodles themselves. And I'm also gonna do it to the opposite side as well since we did use the other side, just to ensure that we knock off all the stuff that's stuck on there as well. Now once you're done with that, simply put the strap back onto your hand and then continue with the cleaning. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish cleaning this up, rinse it off and show you guys the final results. Right, guys and there you have it we're all done removing all the bug guts from this front end on this ram 3500 so as you guys can see the metal is shining it's crisp it looks beautiful and last but not least it's bug and tar free now so there's nothing on there it's just nice and clean however this is a project so this is going to be an ongoing series that we post here at the chemical guys youtube channel every single friday Today's episode was on removing bug guts. However, there is some room for perfection here as far as the metal, it does need some polishing. Now that's not something that has anything to do with the bug guts being on there. That's just something from, you know, just general wear and tear, just driving it around, the metals get oxidized. So we will be at a certain point of the series dealing with this metal and just really bringing out that 100% clarity and shine. Right now it's looking like about eh, like 85%. There's like some little oxidation on this little intricate area. So we'll make sure to pay attention to that. But for the time being, for this episode, we're all done removing the bug guts. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a huge like, subscribe so that you're stay tuned with this series. And if you guys wanna pick up any of the products that we use in today's video, they're gonna be linked in the description down below as well as in the pinned comment. And if you prefer to pick it up in person, make sure to visit your local detail garage store. There's a link for the store locator in the description as well. As always, my name is Joey, this is Chemical Guys. We'll see you guys on the next one.